that pool. A couple of summers and me are going to be very good friends over the next five days. How good's having a washing machine? He's the bees <laughs> Family vote, though. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> yes. oh, the kids are missing out. Now it's humid as and it's time to go. You know what I'm guaranteed to get here? Is um, Bundy Rum. What time is it, babe? It's like three in the Arvo, maybe. Yeah, if that. Been down here, got some fish already for dinner. We've had a swim for ages. Anyway, check it. Look at this. I know, we've just pulled up at Hut Lagoon. It's another pink lake. Bum problem. No. <laughs> What's happening? Stop. Right, on, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I hope you're doing well out there. This one is going to be. It's a little something different for us, <laughs> but it's also bloody exciting. We are going to go and stay in what? A house. <laughs> Can you believe it? The van people are going to stay in a house. Crazy. So after six years, we have never done an Airbnb and I think we could probably count on one hand the amount of nights we've spent outside of our caravan. Yeah. So for us this is something cool but it's also something that you guys out there have always asked us like mm. you should go and stay somewhere we'd love to see the reactions on the kids and what you guys think about being in a house after mm. living in a van for how many years? Six. Crazy. Can we just take a moment there? <laughs> Six years in a caravan. Uh, so to kick off this vid we're going to show you uh, the kids didn't know about this. We rocked up to yeah, this house. We surprised as them. We told them we were leaving Exmouth and we pulled up at this joint for five nights. So, to start the vid, we're going to roll back time and kick off there in Exmouth. And then we're going to bust out Exmouth to Perth and show you some of our favourite spots along the way. Keen? I am. We'll be back soon. And uh, Beck's going to tell you her favourite spots. I'm going to tell you mine. And we'll take you on a little trip down memory lane oh, on our way to Perth. You guys are going to love it. You should see how little the kids are. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What do you say? Oh, Giddy up! Where are we, dear? All right. Have you? Uh, can you see out the window here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that joint? Oh my God! You can drive in. You yes. don't need to turn around. Oh, I do now. I went past it. <laughs> you see what it is, kids? Yep. What is it? House. One with the wheel. Yes. That is huge in there. What are you most excited about? Our rooms! My Do you know it's got a pool? Wait, no, no, I didn't know that. It's got a big pool. Oh, it's so cool in here! Me and Becca are going to check ourselves in and find out what's the go with this joint and then we'll give you a bit of a tour. Yeah, we will. We'll show you all about it. How good's that, mate? You could literally park about five caravans here, I reckon. Check it. You're joking. It's like the best ride I've ever. <laughs> we are having this. Every time we come to a house, we always go, we're going to do that, we're going to do that. I'm having this driveway. It's time to move in. What do you reckon the first thing Beck brings in will be? Be wine or coffee, I reckon. <laughs> coffee! Listen, there is a coffee machine here, but nothing beats this beast. Good thing about this joint is it's built to handle two families. Like you can separate living upstairs, yeah. all this space downstairs. You can fit easily two caravans and boats in the driveway, mm. mate. Absolutely epic. It's so. amazing. You right in there, mate? Yeah. Can you come in? <laughs> it's like the world's biggest egg. <laughs> it is actually. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> so comfy though. Yeah. There you go. Hey. I'll, I'll be in the pool. Well. Tell you what, that pool, a couple of summers, and me are going to be very good friends over the next five days. <laughs> It's gonna live there for five days. I'm gonna do a couple of Arvo cool. missions with the kids, trying to get some fish and some squid. But down at the marina, here is the main boat ramp, mate. So. Anyway, I'm gonna drop it in now and give then it a spin around the canals back to the oh, back to the harbour, mate. Yeah, moor it up. 
That's I'll tell you what, that's good. gonna look pretty bloody funny next to that monstrosity of a boat that lives next door. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bee's knees. Do you know how <laughs> nice it is to like just put on one load, it actually washes your stuff really, really well. But the thing is, the Caribbean washing machine still does a really good job. It's just, it's nothing like the real thing. <laughs> mm. Anyway, it's nice yeah. not having to do like three or four loads when I can just chuck a massive load in one machine. It's done, it's super duper clean. One thing we Slightly miss on the road. Alright, I'll just leave you in that washing machine on the road, <laughs> shall I? Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> I don't know what Come on. Oh. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> well, this is a little bit different here. It's nice. It's a space. <laughs> a bit more space. Love um, it. Even though we're on a bit of a holiday from the van, we still got to do schoolwork with the kids. You know, we um, we do distance ed with our kids. We're gonna tell you a whole heap more soon. We've switched providers this year and we're running with a WA based scheme and um, we're pretty happy with it at the moment, but for an hour and a half every day, this is us. And it's actually a nice treat to have a bit of extra space. Don't the worry about that. kids asked for like no schoolwork this week and normally we'd be like, yeah, cool, we'll do that. But we just started last week. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't really give them a week off. I don't know why they have a week off. If they have a week off, it means we've got to catch up a week somewhere else. Yeah. So, well, we just went... got to get it done every day. <laughs> what you have with your breakfast, bud? Love it. Love it. Love it. Tell you what, we don't miss many things about living in the van. Um, like having like a, a space big enough, like a breakfast bar or an island bench or something is probably one of them. Yeah. It's just so easy. Oh, it's just so yummy, I have no idea. Oh, I do make a really good breakfast mm. too, by the way. We got the kids doing schoolwork behind us. That's or not. Like. I think it's like they're packing away. You're supposed to do a few more pages. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I said two. Why are you packed it away? No, I'm grabbing my grandma. Oh. Uh, anyway, try and get them to do a few more pages before we head out. What do you want to do though? I don't know, it's a cracking day though. It's killing weather. Anyway. Probably just go to the beach. Should take the chinny around the town. Yeah. Oh. Good idea. Family boat, huh? Yeah! <laughs> and right off the back deck. Like, we left from the house. We are so going to shoot around a town beach, get off, have a swim, chill out, and uh, show you what it's like. It's literally going to take about five minutes to get from the pontoon around a town beach. Will that do you, dear? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's like a little bit of paradise. Yeah, it's a bit cute. Look at that, that's the marina just over there. So we come out of the marina and turn right. We're gonna tuck out of the wind. Yep. You guys can have a swim. I think, man, yeah, me I'm gonna go out for a squid. Ah, <laughs> oh, the kids are missing out. There's number one on a patch of weed back there. I'm gonna go back and hit that again. Hopefully I can get a feed of them. Yes. Oh, holy moly. All right, hey, that's the one that's doing the damage. Little pink Shimano one. Three weight, it's got a battle in it. 
They go good, eh? I've got a couple of different colours of them, but pink, passionate. Hey, um, Becky's gonna take you around and give you a bit of a tour of the house. We have one more night left here. I'm busy doing schoolwork with the kids, but Becky's gonna give you a bit of a tour and talk about the last four days here because I tell you what, mm. it's been a, a really nice change. It's been like fabulous. I can tell you two things that have really made me happy. And it's having a very large washing machine <laughs> and a flushing toilet. That's been brilliant. Anyway, you can um, you can rent this holiday rental through Exmouth Holiday Rentals. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful property it's on the canals in Exmouth. Justin will pop in a link here and it'll also be in the description down below on YouTube here. But uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll take you through and show you all about the house. It does house two families, which I think is pretty awesome. So it sleeps 10. But I will take you around. We'll start off at the back. Well, look at that. First time we have seen rain in a very long time. <laughs> but here is the absolutely beautiful pool area. So you've got like an entertaining space there. And I'll take you down later and show you the pontoon, but you can moor your boat up there, which is pretty awesome. Here is the outdoor living area, beer fridge. And here is your outdoor kitchen, gigantic barbecue, <laughs> another kind of wine. Uh, drinks bridge and here's another little outdoor area So it's very spacious and I'm going to take you inside now and show you what it oh look at that service Okay, <laughs> Kids are doing schoolwork, but you can see here. This is the dining area. You've got like a living area here and this absolutely gigantic kitchen Look at that would you? Here is the theatre room and oh gosh, we've got some really good movies in here lately. It's been so nice just to lay on the couch there. They all recline super duper comfy. And here is a laundry, haven't done my washing, but there is a washing machine and dry and you just got a clothesline at the back there. So that has been super duper handy. Uh, downstairs bathroom and toilet. We've got really generous size showers in there too. I'll take you around to the kids room where they've been sleeping. And we've got a couple of beds there. We did have a no make bed rule when we were here. And another couple of beds here. You've got a toilet just over from the kids. And then a really generous sized bathroom, shower, and a bathtub, which the kids have absolutely loved having. And then last down here is, I think that's a double bed. A double bed, you get access straight out to your dining area too. And all of them have TVs as well, which the kids think is pretty darn cool. And I'm going to take you upstairs now and to our gigantic bedroom. Look at that. Holy. I don't even know how you'd feel that, honestly. And here's another two bedrooms up here as well. And one thing I love about this bedroom is that if you've got little ones, you can kind of bunker down with them. So if you've got a toddler or a baby, you can pop them in that room and you're nice and close for them. And then you can wake up in the morning and enjoy these absolutely glorious views. Look at that, would ya? Sunset up here is absolutely spectacular. Got a hook stuck. Aww. So we're just gonna try and get it out. How did you catch that? How did you catch it? Persistence. Patience, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got um, a set of pliers? I'll just cut the barb off this. I do. They're in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll go Down at here. the jetty. I'll go up here. Yeah. Yeah. You can feed that back there. Yeah, that's yep. got it. Got it? There you go. Ah, cool, look at that. Yay. You got him? Good job. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh that's nice. I'm conscious now. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Well done, Chris-o. There you go. Or oh, your hot tip. Oh, oh, there he goes. Look at that. Oh, he'd be a happy seagull. Ah. <laughs> Righto. Oi, that's fogging up on me. 
That's how humid it's getting here in Exmouth, mate. Right out after a couple of months in Exe, we've had a mad Chrissy, caught up with some great people. Hang on a sec. And now it's humid as, and it's time to go. We're going to punch south now, head down towards Margaret River, mate, and spend a couple of oh, weeks, months, whatever, yeah. down there exploring vineyards, new camps, farm camps, beaches. Keen? I am very. So keen. So We're sad to leave Exe, but mate, thank you yeah. to Exmouth. Thanks to everyone yeah. we've met. Thanks we've to the well. awesome beaches. Hang on a sec. Honestly, it is that muggy, it just keeps fogging up out here. I got out of the aircon in the car. Uh, it is mid February. We are heading off, heading south, keen as mustard. Hope you like what we're going to get up to. Yeah. Are you alright, mate? What are you squeezing a pimple? Yeah. First stop, mate. Are you excited? What I, is it? I'm literally excited. It is all worth it. You know what? I think you're going to be um, severely let down. I was watching on the news yeah. last night that WA has. A massive supply shortage in all its grocery stores, Woolworths and Coles, and they're like starting to ship stuff from the east coast across because uh, not long ago there was a massive storm on the Nullarbor and it ruined the train tracks, so they can't get any groceries. So they reckon that um, all the kind of shops over here won't be replenished until the end of March, like back to full capacity or whatever. So she's been stinging to get to a Woolies. And and I'm finally dying here. These wraps, my wraps and like my certain gluten-free food that I love to buy. I reckon anyway. there's probably more chance of getting better food in Exmouth IGA. But anyway, get in there and let me know how you go. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. And just for like fruit and the f it's like really fresh. Well, you know what? No, um, it's good fresh fruit from memory. You know what I'm guaranteed to get here? Is um, Bundy Rum at the BWS. So. <laughs> I won't be disappointed. You might be. But I'll Justin be okay. asked for a tolly the other I know. Yesterday. And guess what? There was no tolly. <laughs> Second stop is this empty Apparently. tourist park. <laughs> <laughs> I no, think this one, uh, is it called the Coral Coast Yeah, it's the Coral, park? Coral Coast Tourist yeah, Park. Yeah, there you go. We have stayed here before, but I'll tell you what, it didn't look like this. No, it was chockers. Oh, look, but they've got is, a pool here. Is there like what, one person? There's one person it? in here. Over the back corner. Anyway, before we get going again tomorrow, what I'm going to do is um, show you this coastline from the last time we did it. Oh, yeah. Now, it, even if we wanted to do some cool stuff along the way you actually can't tourist season is uh not now so i will drop in a little itinerary of some of the places we've hit a few years back because i tell you what if you come through at the right time epic epic from hot springs to bars um, to stations beach, to beach camps, camps oh, surf mate. it's amazing all right i'm gonna set up So, like we said, tourist season is over down this way, all right? It doesn't kick off until after the wet and sort of when autumn kicks off, right? Is that the right one? Autumn after yeah. summer? Oh yeah. God. Or spring? I don't know. Anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> outside of tourist season, it's really hard to try and tick off all these bucket list items along the coastline because, like we said, a lot of them are mm. shut, right? So, but if you're coming through at the right time, my favourite of all time, and I would love to go back again one day, is the trip out through Shark Bay to Steep Point mm. and Dirk Hartog Island. That was Mate, amazing. Still some of my fondest yeah. memories, still one of our best episodes I reckon we've done. The, like, just the excitement and the froth factor is yeah. dead set real. We absolutely loved it. And so, it was, we were out of our comfort zones too, mate, a family of five in two swags. A couple of swags over yeah. there. Yeah, just you have to check it out. So I'm going to throw in some highlights of that right now and book it in, mate, and plan it in 
Get in there, so get over cool. to DHI. Yeah. This episode, we're going to Steep Point. We're at the Useless Loop turnoff right now. We're packed, we've left the van at Hamlin Station. So this is where we're leaving the van before we go to do a car talk. This is a place called Hamlin Outback Station Stay. So awesome spot. As you drive in, I think we'll stay here on the way back because it's bloody beautiful. Pretty keen, eh? It's going to be a mad trip. <coughs> if I can get rid of these flies, we should have invested in some fly nets, I think. But uh, good fun, good times, good phobia and good adventure. It's going to be a sick trip, eh? Can't wait. Just going to drop me tyres. I'm going to go down to 25 psi because I know this road can get pretty corrugated. And once it gets a bit sandy, I can drop down a bit further. But this is what I use if you've seen it before, just a quickie tie deflator. But I'll give you a hot tip. What I used to do when I'd take my valve cover off, I used to put it in my mouth. And then uh, it was only a week or so ago, there was like some random dog walking through the campsite. And he cocked his leg and pissed right on the valve stem on one of my wheels. And I'm like, Ugh, I'm never put one of them in my mouth again. <laughs> False entrance that way. Another good fishing spot. I've met a bloke before. Him and his mates go there on a mad trip. Catch huge Spanish mackerel off the cliffs. 43 k's to Steep Point. I'd love to do a boys trip out here at some stage and just spend a couple of weeks out here. But I've got about five nights at the most because the squeeze doesn't like been away from the caravan. So to make the most of it, we're going to Steep Point. Dirk Hartog. No false entrance this time. What colour is that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Crystal bloody clear. Oh man. Yes! <laughs> Made it out to Steep Point. How friggin' epic is this place? It is crazy, mate. We thought the road was going to be a lot tougher than what it was. But it wasn't, eh? Just a few bumps, a few corrugations. So I think uh, the best thing to do right now is to grab a proppy and uh, crack one at Steep Point because it's to uh, tick another bucket list item off the list, eh, dear? And a frothy Steep Point. What do you reckon, boys? You want to open that for me? Oh, sweet. Yeah, Thanks, I'll mate. Just get Check it out, our campsite at Whitnell Point. This is insane. We are out here on the end of the point, all set up. Swags are done and dusted. Got the awning out, hey? Huh? What time is it, babe? It's like three in the Arvo, maybe. Yeah, it's that. Been down here, got some fish already for dinner. We've had a swim for ages. This is just out of control. It's probably one of the best campsites. <laughs> We've got like, honestly. We've got the best of both worlds. Like if you take out the point, we've got like 320 degrees probably yeah. of water views all the way around us. But the thing is the reef is just there. Yeah. Like reef and then safe swimming everywhere. Just amazing, eh? We're Kids loved have... it. Look at this. Swags, we get to sleep here, wake up here. Fresh fish for dinner, babe. We're gonna have uh, sunrise and sunset here. Again. Again. I'll tell you what, we're getting pretty spoiled. Got a bit of a treat for you. Spin around, check this out. This is sunset at Whitnell Point. Oh, how good is it? Amazing. <laughs> this is epic, mate. What a setup. This is brilliant. A few tunes on, sun going down. Oh, man. And then look at that. If that's there, if I do like a full 180, this is where it'll come up over here. <laughs> man, we are getting dead set spoiled over here at DHIA. Eh? I'm gonna call it that now because I reckon I should be one of the locals. I've got something to show you. 
on the front of our van, if you're chasing a bike rack, right, and you don't have room to put one on the back, or you need to put one on the front, or you've got a toolbox, or you don't have a toolbox, anyway, check it. Look at this. We've just put this one on because me and Beck got a, a little electric bike for me and her. She's going to sit on the back and I'm going to cruise around on it, or vice versa. Uh, but what I want to show you is the bike rack and the fitting kit. So swing in for a bit of a closer look. This is, we've put together um, four kits for you. No, three kits. So you can have two bikes, three bikes, or four bikes, all set up like this. And you can fit it yourself. All you have to do is buy or purchase these kits. I'll put some links in here for you. Uh, and you can just fit it yourself. A couple of bolts, a few extra rails, and the Thule Pro Ride bike racks, right? Um, they're sick, easy to use. I'll rip this one off and I'll show you more about it and how I fitted it. But in essence, it's so simple. You've got two ratchet straps that go over the wheels. So one here, one on the other end. And these are adjustable to fit different size bikes too. So you can slide them along the rails. And then you've got this support bar that goes up and down and has a clamp on it. So whatever size bike you want, you just slide the support bar up twist this knob here and it clamps down and there's a release trigger on it as well which i'll show you so there you go let me get this bike off and i'll show you more of the rack and how i fitted it yeah all right bike's off come in here and i'll show you how these work a bit better so these are the ratchet straps so all you do is put them through your wheel and click them down to tighten that's the same either end. Now what you do when you fit them, if you've got two bikes, then you obviously you alternate the racks. So one side will have the support bar over here, the other side will have the support bar over here. And then when you roll it up onto your frame, there's this knob here. Come around here, see this knob? All you do is twist that, and then look at this. It's clamp tight. There you go. And to release it, pull the trigger. Happy days. So let's start with the fitting procedure. So you've got to have your empty box, right? And just nothing on top of it. All you have to do is measure in from each side on this box anyway, a, um, a certain measurement, 170 mil. And then you mark your bolts, you drill some eight mil holes, and then you line up your, uh, your rails. Now this is what's going to be different in the fitting kit. If you've got a two bike kit, it'll be this size. If you've got a three bike kit, this rail will be longer. If you've got a four bike kit, be longer again so you can just fit an extra bike rack here and here so on so they just extend out further then all you have to do is put your eight mil bolts from the bottom up into some t-slot nuts tighten them up and that pulls your rail down onto your toolbox and then you just use the follow the instructions in the fuel kit and mount your bike rack to this top rail and then while it's loose this is how you tighten them and loosen them so you can loosen these slide your rail where it needs to be tighten them up and they're all lockable, so you can lock these on and you can also lock the clamps on once they're tightened. So no one can pinch your gear. Pretty good rack, simple to fit, and I'll tell you what, if you don't, it's a lot easier than trying to mount one to the back wall of your caravan, especially if you don't have the support in that back wall. So uh, otherwise you'll bolt it through there, it'll end up just slopping around your bikes will fall off, you'll tear a big hole in the back of your van. So there you go. I'll put some links in here, you can get these toolboxes from ProTrek and you can also get these fitting kits for the bike rack. Plus they do a heap of other cool stuff, which you'll find out when you get there. A lot of locks, cable locks, uh, cool little gadgets for your caravanning and your lifestyle, mate. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. Hit me up if you've got any more questions, but um, get on it. Good way to chuck a couple of extra bikes on your caravan. Happy days. <laughs> Righto, they were my favorite spots along that stretch of coastline, mate. Becky, what are yours? Ooh. <laughs> I'm thinking back to 2019 and um, just the reactions from the kids and I loved Calbarry. Calbarry is a beautiful little town for a, even for a young family. Mm -hmm. um, we dropped in and did nature's window and that was an awesome little walk. Kids loved it. The pinnacles were cool. That was fun playing hide and seek around there. And Pink Lake. Like it's just so, so iconic WA. It's um, just spectacular. I've got a hot, but, let's put a hot oh, tip out there. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to say it, I think. What's your hot tip for the pink lake, mate? Don't walk in it. <laughs> Rightio, we are at the Pinnacles, aren't we? They're a pretty cool side, actually. We've been once before, but um, we just really wanted to come back because the kids were, well, it was two years ago, and the kids were a lot smaller, so I reckon they're going to really enjoy it this time. Be cool. <laughs> Righto, we've just pulled up at Hut Lagoon, it's another pink lake. 
Uh, come and check out Beck. What happened here, mate? Oh my god. I just went for a walk out here and look at this. I've just fully sunk into this all up to here. <laughs> <in the mud. laughs> oh. Like an idiot too. Hey, that'll serve you right. I thought there must have been a like, snake or something down here. Right there, look. That's my first print. Let's do it. You got me some lunch there or what? Nope. Why not? Not lunch time. Huh? Snack time. You got me a snack? Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How's that for a sunset, mate? WA. Something about WA sunsets. So real. It's crazy, mate. And in my arms, I'll keep you. We are walking to Nature's Window with all the flies in a rain in Australia. Have a look at this. They're all hanging out. Ugh. Flies galore. Hell <laughs> Barry. Awesome no, weather, by the way. Yeah, it's like 33 or something, 30 degrees, but we're Easy late, walk, 500 late now, metres. Though. It's all bitumen. Kids having a blast. They're running, look at them go. Forgot the shirt for one of them. I know, and we forgot shoes. Thankfully got some water. Because you have to drop your caravan off. So, yeah, that's it. So we've just done the nature's window walk. Harry, what do you reckon, mate? Yeah, it's good. It's super easy. And uh, I mean, we're in pluggers doing it, so. Why not, it's, Tip? Uh... Uh, we thought we'd come at sunset because it'd be <laughs> epic. But if you have a look at the photos we took, We've got my massive shadow standing in there, so probably not the best idea. Sunrise, sunrise would yeah. be sick, but um, try getting three kids here at sunrise. <laughs> but easy walk for them, spinning around. Jack's doing it in no short, <laughs> no shirt, and no shoes, uh, and everyone else cruised up. And we did it in pluggers, so. Now I'm going to hike all the way up. How far was it, mate? 500 meters. I tell you what, that lipstick is just beautiful. The shape of your head just <laughs> embraced in the sun. Can you see all the um, hmm. flies around me? Get I can't all the actually. Flies off your head, Dad. That's a, it's a really good light for you, dear. Yeah, what? Well, I can't see you. <laughs> Husband of the year. Ah, oh, that was good. <gasps> hey? Oh my God, you I actually know. have like 200. I need Seriously. to be on that. I'm not joking. Let me go. Look, you need to turn around towards the light. Turn towards, like, turn your back towards the light. Look at that. The oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Gee. So wrong. Did you wipe your bum properly? <laughs> no. What's happening? Stop, that is so helpful. <laughs> We have made it to a place called Sandy Cape. It's a campground, it's 22 bucks a night for a family of five. And it's not right on the beach, but it's all but. We are just behind here. And we were just talking, it might be our last 
west coast sunset mm. over the water. Just trying to figure it I'm out. Because from here we're going to stick a little bit inland and do some wineries and farm stays down Margaret River Way. So, I don't know. So yeah. we just thought sunset today will come and make the most of it just in oh, case it's our so last beautiful. one. And check it. How nice is it? It's amazing. It is You can't amazing. beat them. Look sunset at it. Sunset over the water. In on the beach too. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah, over you know. The so we're going to um, confess something to you. We're actually a little bit beached out. Mm. So I don't I'm know. I'm sort of just getting like I'm really focused on having a grass campsite with a bit of shade and like a river or a dam or something. Just like I don't know. Yeah. Like I don't even want to look at the tinny for a few months. I just want to have a campfire, mm. drink red wine, and like kick the footy on the grass. Yeah. It's really weird, but that's just how we... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think we've beached ourselves out, so... You can have too much of a good thing. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. So over the next few weeks, we're going to show you around Margaret River, mate. Don't get too excited, we're not even going to go into Perth, I don't think. Beck <laughs> might do a quick shopping trip in there. Oh, um, yeah, you know, I always end a few things. Yeah, but um, other than that, we'll give you a, a good look around Marg's, mate, in the southwest. To show you what to do. So I'm keen. We haven't been there for years. Yeah, 2017. So many years. It was the last time we were there. So and we kind of blew through. We did. We did. So the kids nice were super that, little. Yeah, they were. So it'd be nice that the kids would be older and we can have a couple Hello. of drinky poos. Absolutely. All right. Nice. We're going to leave you there. We're going to enjoy this last, maybe our last sunset over the ocean. And um, yeah, we'll catch you next time in Margs. <laughs> Check it. Sunset.